Welcome to the Good News Radio Broadcast. Hello, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Before Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. I'm very proud of my mom. She's been a hard worker all of her life. She's been strong in raising her kids when she didn't have anyone but God to take care of her and her children. She became a Christian at an early age and God has always been there for her. We like to talk about the miracles that God has worked in our lives. She's a strong person. She has always had a backbone. That's something that I like to see in a person. I recall that when she was out to dinner with my dad and some other people, before they began to eat, Mom spoke up and said, Who wants to say the blessing? One of the people at the table said, Let's don't say the blessing, because we don't want to offend anyone. Mama spoke right up and said, Jesus said if you are ashamed of him in this sinful and adulterous generation, that he would be ashamed of you before his Father and the angels in heaven. No one said another word. I've seen my mom testify to people about getting right with God. I admire that in a person because I've been timid in the past about witnessing for Jesus during my life. I like to watch my mom at work because she's fearless. That's the way we need to be. We need to be worrying about pleasing God rather than man. Jesus plainly said in Matthew 10:28, Don't fear man who can just kill the body, but fear God who can cast your body and soul into hell. There is someone that my mom has been regularly speaking to about getting right with God. I figured that the last time my mom told the lady about Jesus, that the lady would stop visiting my mom. But the other day I saw her car in the driveway. We have been praying for this lady to give her heart and life to Christ. I believe my mom's testimony will greatly influence this person's life. A backbone is what it takes to stand up for Jesus. Because talking about Jesus may be an unpopular subject. There are those who like it and those who don't. But don't be mealy-mouthed when it comes to the things of God. Jesus gave us the Great Commission. Go into all the world and tell others about God. Don't compromise. There are those who say, we must all get along. We must compromise. This type of thinking is flawed to the core. That's not the right road to take because compromise will lead your soul to destruction. On the big issues, when you don't stand up for what's right, your right will be taken away. We've seen examples of that when we take a look at history. Nazi Germany comes to mind. I've heard the left refer to Trump as a Nazi, but nothing could be further from the truth. I tell you what, other countries see the fruit of bad immigration policies and want Trump to be their leader. A bumper sticker has been seen on cars in foreign countries that says, Lend us your Trump. Make no mistake about it, there is a war going on right now for our country. There are people who want to have the power of the United States. There are those who want our Constitution ripped to shreds because they have a globalist view of the world. There are many people who are awakening to what's going on. We need to be wise. Don't compromise. Don't allow not one single one of our amendments to be taken away. If you take away one, the next one will be on the list. There's so much fake news taking place in the news right now. It would be almost laughable if it wasn't so horrific. I listen to a lot of trustworthy alternative medias now. I can't stand to listen to the mainstream media. They don't tell the news. They spew out hatred and propaganda. It's not a question of being Democrat or Republican. There are bad Democrats and there are bad Republicans. It just came out in the news about a judge in West Virginia who is steeped in corruption. I believe he was a Republican. I'm not totally sure about that. He has a possibility of getting a 400-year sentence. There's a prophecy by Mark Taylor. You may have heard about him. He prophesied in the year 2011 that Trump would be president. 
Mark Taylor has given many prophecies. One of them is that God is going to clean up the corruption in our country from the top level all the way down to the bottom, and that includes the corruption in our churches. Mark Taylor has also given a prophecy about America's energy. He said that God spoke about our energy, that we would be the strongest in oil production. He said God was going to restore our nation's dollar, that the dollar would be seven times stronger. Now that's quite a prophecy. Let's see if it happens. We need to pray that God's mighty hand stays with our country. I heard a preacher whom I greatly respect ask the people to pray against lies and corruption in the media. I have been praying about this ever since. I've been praying for righteousness and mercy in our streets. I've been praying for our country and the world to go from darkness to light. I believe that there are many people praying for our country. God wants a great harvest of souls in these last days. Do you want to be a part of his plan? You can be. Don't compromise. Get a backbone. Speak up for God and what's right. There's an illustration about a man who had a rifle. He came upon a bear in the woods. Before the man was able to shoot the bear, the bear spoke up and said, Hey, let's talk this over. Let's compromise. Let's go sit down and have a meal together and discuss our options. Maybe we can come to an agreement. The man with the rifle didn't want to be offensive, so he thought he'd listen to the other opinion. They sat down together and had a little talk. Pretty soon, the bear left with his tummy full. The man with the rifle should have never laid down his ammunition in the pursuit of being fair. Don't be afraid of being called names. That's a tactic that is used to make you change your mind. Are you standing up for what's right? You can study God's word to find out what's right. You can use your God-given brain to know what's right. There is a difference between great convictions and preferences. Preferences can be changed. Convictions provide a foundation for our lives. Convictions shape how we live and how we die. The Bible says that the devil is like a roaring lion, walking around seeking whom he may devour. The devil will never compromise. You can't compromise your very soul and life against the devil. You will end up being the loser every time. The devil will say he wants to compromise, but he's a liar. Jesus said the devil is the father of lies. So let's be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. The devil wants you to waver in your convictions. He wants you to waver in the thing that you know is right. Peter and John were a couple of disciples that were thrown in jail because they preached in the name of Jesus. They were told not to preach in the name of Jesus. And Peter said, Is it right to obey God or you? They said, We can't stop talking about Jesus and what we have heard about him. Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you if you place your hand in his hand. Don't compromise. And now, this concludes the message today. Again, this is Brenda Harris blessing you in Christ's name. May God's face shine upon you and show you his great favor.